The math ain't math and when y'all out here saying, I don't want to be married. I don't want to be married. Why not? Stop tricking yourself into thinking that you don't deserve better or you can't have better. You can. The math ain't math and y'all. If you're not going to do it for the love, ladies, if you're not going to do it for the love, it's a piece of paper. It is, but it's a piece of paper that means a lot to a lot of people. Getting married is probably one of the fastest ways to accumulate wealth. Cut the check. I need that alimony too. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika if you are new and if you're joining us for the first time make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can be notified every time I post and make sure you leave a comment down below. So in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about marriage and marriage especially pertaining to black women. As of lately I started to notice like I don't want to call it a trend but like a trend of black women coming out and publicly saying that they don't desire marriage. That's not their goal. They don't want to be married. And I just want to start the video off with a disclaimer and say that it's okay if you don't want to be married you know that's not everybody's goal and that is perfectly fine there are some people in the world who want to have multiple partners who want to be able to sleep with multiple people and not be tied down to one person and I think that is totally and ultimately um, understandable you know you have people out here who, who would like to make the argument that we're not meant to be monogamous anyway so I totally get that and I'm not judging you if that's your thing but my take on it is that especially as it pertains to black women is that it's not that we don't desire marriage or that we don't want to get married it's more so that we're not being offered or the opportunity is not being presented to us and so as a defense mechanism you know we're saying that we don't want that when when in all actuality we do want that we do want to be married we do want to have a family with someone or a man and create something but because that's not being presented to us because we haven't had the opportunity or we haven't met a man who was willing to give us that commitment as a defense mechanism we're telling ourselves that oh well i don't want it anyway what made it what what made me start to notice this was when the um baseball player for the chicago white Sox, you guys know i'm a chicago girl so this story definitely caught my eye um the baseball player cheated on his wife and he had an outside ch outside child and that's not what was shocking to me because that happens every day right men cheat on their women bring babies home this is nothing new this is not a new phenomenon but what was interesting to me is that so many people chose to use that example to say, well, this is why I don't want to get married. Stuff like this is happening or this is why marriage is a joke or this is why that marriage stuff isn't for me. And I think for me, what was so interesting about that is that in real life, I'm only 27, right? So I'm still pretty young. I'm in my 20s. In real life, I know girls who have been with a guy since they were 16 years old and we're 27, 28, 29, 30. In real life, I know girls who have had their boyfriends have children on them and they stayed in that relationship and decided to make it work. And that's no shade to you, sis, if that's what you choose to do. That's your prerogative. But how can you say you don't desire marriage when you're willing to stay in a long-term commitment with someone? So why are you staying in this long-term relationship with a man if marriage isn't the ultimate goal? I don't understand the difference between, or better yet, what makes it better that your boyfriend had a baby on you versus your husband. I don't, especially if you stay. I get it. My boyfriend had a baby on me. It was heartbreaking. It was traumatic. I couldn't take it. So I left. I get it. I get that. But I don't get how as a girlfriend, you're looking at a wife and her situation and looking down upon it and using that as an example for why you don't desire marriage when as a girlfriend, you've accepted that same thing and stay anyway. It's just, it doesn't make sense. And the math is not mathing. And so it kind of caused me to start to think like, why are we saying this? Why are we pushing this narrative? Why are we telling ourselves this when it's obviously a lie? And I was talking to someone and we came to the conclusion that, like I said earlier, it's not that we don't desire marriage, it's that we're not being offered or we're not being asked or a man isn't requesting to take our hand in marriage. That's no one's fault but that per that individual's. You know what I'm saying? As a woman, it is your as a human being, it is your job to 
demand and require certain things for yourself. And if you don't demand and require that, then you're not going to get that. It's not the man's fault that you haven't been asked for your hand in marriage. It's your fault because you haven't required that because there are many, many, many men in the world who desire marriage and who want a family. But you're not running into those men. You're not entertaining those men. You are not trying to build something with those men. We as black women, we spend a lot of our time with men who don't have the same goals or visions for our lives. Um, me personally, I'm gonna just speak on me for a second. As you guys know, I'm in a relationship, been in a relationship for almost two years now. My first real adult relationship. And I would say pretty much since the beginning of my relationship, I have let it be known that I require marriage. Anybody who knows me knows that that is the ultimate goal for a relationship that I'm in. And so with that being said, I don't, I don't want to say that I push that, but I definitely make it clear and I definitely let it be known that baby, the time is ticking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be a 10 year girlfriend. I will get up and I will leave, kid or not. If I have a child by you, which is never in the plans, I'm always trying to be in control of my body and my flesh. And I want to get in the past, as you guys may know, I have been pregnant in the past. But moving forward, I'm in a place now where I'm only going to ever be pregnant if that's what I choose to do. And that's what I decide to do. So at this point, I don't see me having a child at a wedlock unless that is something that me and my partner have planned for but child or no child i've made it clear that my requirement is marriage and probably even more so if we do have a child because now what's holding you back like we already have this commitment together why aren't you willing to make the ultimate commitment with me so I think that I just, I just want to throw my situation out there because I'm not judging anybody, but I just need women to be real with themselves. I need black women to be real with ourselves and say that, no, it's not that I don't want to get married. It's just that I haven't required it. And I'm too lazy to, or I'm not even too lazy. I'm too scared. I'm too content. I'm too complacent. I'm too insecure. And I don't love myself enough to want to walk away from a situation that is not going to the place where I desire. Because that's really all it is. If you're in a relationship with a man and you know that that man has no intention of marrying you and he's made that clear and you've spent, because I'm not going to lie, it does take some men longer to um come around to the idea of a lifetime commitment with someone it does i don't know why especially as black men i don't know why i don't know where we get it from but that's just how it is with them so if you've made that clear and you've let one year go by two years go by three years go by and this man is still adamant that marriage is not on the table that's not something he's trying to do with you that's not something that he's interested in pursuing with you then it's time for you to walk away why would you continue to invest and settle for something that ultimately doesn't make you happy? We get so content at such a young age when there's so much out here in life. There's so many different people in the world. You never know what someone else has to offer you. But we put ourselves in this box and I guess as a response to the rejection we tell ourselves oh well i didn't want it anyway that's not something i want for myself anyway why would i want that look at that wife she over there going through that why would i want to be her well let me tell you why you would want to be her let me tell you why you should want to be a wife and i would never say that wives don't get the same treatment as girlfriends because to me ultimately it is just a piece of paper in so many ways but it's a powerful piece of paper it's a piece of paper that i need okay you're gonna give me my piece of paper <laughs> I want the piece of paper because that piece of paper for me gives me security, it gives me confidence, and it gives me the assurance that should this go left, should this end up in divorce, should this not work out, not only do I reap some sort of benefit from the situation, whatever children we have also reap benefits from that situation. It's a lot of women out there who got kids and they put their baby daddy on child support and all that and all that. But for me, what is child support if I didn't been with you for 10 years? Baby, I need that alimony too. Cut the check. <laughs> Cut the check. I need that alimony too. So for me, it's not, it's, it's that piece of paper is very powerful. That piece of paper 
says that we made a commitment to one another, we had an agreement to one another, and everything that we built together is ours together. You don't have no rights as a boyfriend. You don't have no rights as a girlfriend. Like The court doesn't acknowledge that. That means nothing to the courts. That means nothing to the law. It's husband and wife. Even when you have a child, even when you have a child, you get better health care and people are people are more willing to do right by you in terms of health care when it comes to carrying a child if you are married. When you go in there as a single mother boyfriend that with you or not, they don't take it as serious. They don't care as much because it's like you just having another baby out of wedlock. And I know that's not for every doctor, that's not for every nurse, but I have heard that and I believe it to be true. They don't care about you as much if you're not married and you're not there with your husband. Well, I think the most important thing to know, getting married is probably one of the fastest ways to accumulate wealth. If I make 50K and my man make 50K, together we're a six-figure household. That's, that's totally different. At 50K, I probably still live in the hood. But at 100K, we could probably buy a nice house and build a nice family for our children, et cetera, and et cetera. Not only does being married give a woman the security that she may need if the relationship was to ever fail, it also helps benefit you while you're in the relationship. You get to live a better lifestyle, a more elevated lifestyle. And not saying that you can't do that as boyfriend and girlfriend. You can, for sure. But, okay, what happened when the relationship ends? You know what I'm saying? Now he's taking his and you taking yours and y'all back to where y'all started. Versus if y'all would've just got married, everything that y'all accumulated over those years can be brought together and split down the middle. And I feel like also, um, when it comes to marriages, Nine times out of 10, if you and your partner are both smart, you guys are business minded, you guys know how to make money together. If you guys get married, if the relationship was severed in, nine times out of 10, both of you should be able to walk away with more than what y'all came into it with. Versus if your boyfriend and girlfriend in a relationship in, let's say he made all this money and you ain't make so much, but you did help him and you did support him. Girl, when the relationship in, you walk away with what you came with, which probably ain't much and he walking away up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's so much more than a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper, it is, but it's a piece of paper that means a lot to a lot of people. And it should mean a lot to you. And it should mean a lot, especially if you're willing to carry a child in your womb for a man. You can carry a child in your womb for a man, but you don't require his commitment in marriage or you don't require him to show you some type of commitment. And I think the reality of it is too, a lot of people think that marriage is forever and it should be, and you want it to be, and you want to go in it with the idea that, yeah, we're going to be together forever. We never going to break up. I love him. He love me. But that's not the reality of the situation. Sometimes people do break up. People do get divorced. Kim Kardashian is on her third marriage. So it's not like, um, I think some people have a little bit of fear of the thought that, oh my God, I have to be with this person for the rest of my life. That's not always true. You can leave. You can get a divorce. You can walk away. And I think that if you're willing to make a lifetime commitment to a child that you share with that person, why not be willing to have a lifetime commit with, commitment with that person as well? People shun their children, disown their children, abandon their children every single day. You can leave a marriage, shun your man, abandon your man, get divorced. It's not forever but in the meantime between times so long as y'all are married you should be looking to reap every benefit that comes with being married because there are a ton of benefits that come with being married and another reason this topic has been really interesting to me is because we know young miami came out with her interview with diddy and she spoke on how she doesn't desire marriage and she doesn't want to be married but again i talked to one of my subscribers about this hey boo you know who you are we talked about this in the comment section and she said that she believed young miami was just trying to save face and when you look back at the interview i believe that it's as well how do you want to have twins with this man you want to open your body and risk your life to have two children at one time by this man but you don't desire some type of long-term commitment from him that's backwards as fuck i'm sorry call it what you want it's backwards as fuck and it's weird don't get wrapped up into that ladies and even if carisha does want to do that carisha is a millionaire so she can afford to take care of her child on her own 
But wouldn't it be better if Carisha and Diddy put their money together and now she's a billionaire by way of being his wife? You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, it's a benefit. It's always going to be beneficial to get married. I'm sorry, unless y'all two poor people getting married who live in a hut on the side of the road, then okay you look at them and be like okay i don't know why they married but even those people homeless people sometimes are still married because of the love they have for one another so if you're not going to do it for the love ladies if you're not going to do it for the love do it for your children so your children can see what a family looks like a great fa family dynamic and i'm not saying this obviously this doesn't apply to you if you're in an abusive relationship you're with a narcissist you're with a manipulator in those instances of course i don't encourage marriage but if you're in a happy healthy loving relationship your end goal as a woman who is not a six-figure earner if you're not and a woman who already has children if you do or does plan on having children should be to get married it benefits everybody involved i don't see how marriage has turned into being a negative thing amongst the black community. I don't see how we've taken something that is so beneficial and that white people use as a tool every single day. How have we taken that and made it this negative thing? It just doesn't make sense to me. You know why a lot of black women go off and they marry white men? Because white men are willing to marry them. And why are white, why are white men willing to marry them? Because it's the smartest thing to do. Like it, it only makes sense. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. It makes sense. It's no, why would I spend so many years of my life in a relationship to leave and get nothing out of it? The math ain't mathing, y'all. Go do the calculations, whatever you gotta do to make it make sense, but it's not making sense. And so I want as black women for us to stop cheating ourselves out of our spot. Honestly, stop cheating ourselves and lying to ourselves and telling ourselves that we don't want the finer things in life and that the things that are meant to be great and beautiful, we're giving them a negative connotation or we looking at them as if they're bad. Stop doing that, ladies. Stop tricking yourself into thinking that you don't deserve better or you can't have better. You can. Make better choices, choose better men. It's as simple as that. And don't spend so much time invested in something that doesn't serve you in the end ultimately i have a rule after five years you get five out of me baby after five of ain't no ring or it ain't no type of proposal being talked about we it ain't money saved up for a ring or you know what i'm saying if i don't see a proposal in the near future if we're having these conversations and it doesn't sound like that that's where he's headed it's time for me to walk away it's as simple as that because I come first and my future children come first and the well-being of them come first. I need a guarantee, not a possibly, potentially, maybe. I need a guarantee that we are going to be okay and that you're going to be here. And I know marriage does not guarantee that. We see women get dogged out in marriages every day. But as I keep saying, the odds are better. The odds are better than if we're just boyfriend and girlfriend. And it's just as simple as that. Make it make sense, ladies. The math ain't math the way y'all out here saying, I don't want to be married. I don't want to be married. Why not? Why? Especially if you've never been. And if you've never been, I can see you saying you don't want to do that again because you've been through it and whatever experience you had, it turns you off from it. But if you've never been married, why not? Why not? It just don't make sense to me. So let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about the topic and let me know you personally do you desire marriage as a woman and as a man if you're watching this do you desire marriage do you require it is that something that you and your current partner are talking about have you made it clear that that is the goal for me and if that's not the goal for you then it's gonna have to come to an end at some point baby we're gonna have to wrap it up i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did like i said leave me a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video oh don't forget to subscribe as always don't subscribe i love y'all bye